fun. Make sure this thing's coming in. Nice. There we are. There we are. I had some technical difficulties earlier. Hopefully this is all working out fine. And it looks like it's coming in. Sweet, sweet. Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is March 6, 2021. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on investing and personal finance. And tomorrow we're following this up with current events. And the current events will not be loaded on sensor tube. That's uh, given. Uh, we'll see where the discussion takes us for investing in personal finance, but most likely this will be loaded onto sensor tube. Okay. Uh, aside from that, uh, we're going to wait. We've done a few of these. We're going to wait until people start rolling in and uh, notifications go out on Discord and Twitch. And there's one thing I'm going to do here. I have a uh, little light from the computer camera shining in my, eye, in my eyes. And I usually have uh, some painter's tape on it. But now I'm just jerry rigging a masking tape with a little bit of tissue to block off the camera as well as the light that's shining right in my eyes right in my eyes hope you guys are doing well gang and uh while we wait for people to roll in i'm going to let you know what this is all about water exile how you doing yo 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 hope you're doing well huckleberry how are you doing hey chicho i chat it's been a while since i saw you glad you could make another one i think anyway I think anyway, time flies when you're live streaming on Twitch. <laughs> Gang, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho. C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to know what this work is about. If you want to know what we're up to. What we've been up to for the last 15, 16 years. Producing content and sharing information. You can follow the work on Patreon. Everything's laid on mathematics. I don't put anything beyond paywalls. Everything's creative commons share and share like i'm glad to be here it has been a while call it's been a while college is crazy college must be crazy you're not going to classes are you or are you doing most of it online i have students they're, they're in high school but they're going part-time going to school uh actually more more than 50 percent is at home that they're doing for those of you that are supporting this work on Patreon, gang, thank you very much for the support. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. And we are live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat when it pops up, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Twitch, coming to the live streams, following, subscribing, bits, points, tokens, commenting, sharing your perspective on the world, and your suggestions and requests and recommendations thank you for the support and mods thank you for taking care of business it is in large part because of the collective support we're getting on these live streams that we're able to do this or the content that we're creating elder god how are you doing hope you're doing well the kitty cats are alive and awake they're running around uh, some is online and some is in person. This is regarding college. We're doing the hybrid stuff too. Um, uh, living on campus full time. Though. Oh, you're living on campus full time. Living on campus is fun, man. I lived on campus for a long time, for a few years. And um, there's something to be said about it. And I, and I have done the living at home and trekking to university college. Living on campus better. As long as you have a good space and you can... Uh, you can uh, for me it was essential to be able to cook my own food um, first of all it's cheaper and it's better it's great stuff it's great stuff Uncle Barry agreed 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 fun experience you won't get anywhere else uh, both good and bad we do analyses live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor hello minds VK gap and Twitter and as elder God pointed out when he came in here and put an exclamation mark social you can come to our chat anytime you want on Twitch 
and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including our discord page on the bottom here where it's uh, you know we have a space for people to drop in and chit chat unfortunately we don't have a kitchen but i'm working on it awesome okay yeah the kitchen it was crucial for us uh it's a lot cheaper eating at home than it is buying or buying into the food program at university and the food is mm, no we will be uploading the audio of this live stream of this podcast to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes cheryl how you doing how's it going You're doing good i'm drinking check this out some coffee leftover from like yesterday or day before coffee with oat milk and uh turmeric and to sweeten it up because i like it sweet i added maple syrup so it's with maple syrup as well and it's candy liquid candy like oh so good wait what what is it elder god uh, coffee, oat milk, uh, turmeric, okay, and that was sitting in the fridge, and I brought it on and added maple syrup as a sweetener. Uh, candy, <laughs> Canadian candy. <laughs> oh, so good, Gina. How you doing? Hope you're doing well, and hopefully we'll have the opportunity to load this up to sensor to if the discussion doesn't take us places where we're not about we're not allowed to talk about on sensor tube um but i'm pretty sure it should be okay for personal finance and it will definitely be loaded on bit shoot and rumble and if you have enough points to odyssey and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by liking sharing following uh, commenting and if you're on sensor tube you can support this work by joining sensor tube membership and there's a handful of you that have joined uh, that are supporting this work uh, through that platform thank you very much for the support gang appreciate it very much it is again in large part because of the collective support that we're getting on all these platforms that we're able to do this okay and more right do you ever have cold brew coffee cold brew coffee cold brew you mean make it and then put it in the fridge and uh, when it's drinking when it's cold we do like this but you mean cold brew it with cold water I didn't even know if that was possible <laughs> I thought I was the only maniac here I'll go what do you mean you add maple syrup or turmeric and oat milk oat milk is amazing so it goes so creamy so creamy i'm gonna take these guys down again nice i tried the coca cocoa oat milk coconut oil turmeric mix or an approximation of what i remember from your description quite tasty ah oh, nice nice my partner makes these i don't make these my partner is the expert in these love cold brew cold brew yeah you let the ground steep in cold water for about 16 hours in the fridge what i never heard about this so you grind up the coffee and put it in cold water or put it in water and put it in the fridge for 16 hours and you get cold brew coffee really is the caffeine level the same or does it less caffeine it must be gentler water exile i wonder what epstein drank before the, he discovered the theory of relative einstein not epstein <laughs> you can tell him a following politics law i wonder uh water exile sale says i wonder what einstein drank before he discovered the theory of relativity where not may, maybe not even discovered because the discovery took over a decade I think the concept, the idea of general relativity, yes, it's much less acidic. It's much less acidic. Oh, I'm gonna, Gina, thank you. Uh, and Cheryl says, cold brew is so nice, almost sweet by itself. What? What? 
What? Okay, I gotta try this out. I'm gonna mention it to my partner. And you put it in lots of water? Like, when you're brewing coffee, I know how to make, you know, I do make coffee, but the mix is my partner's. But when we make it on the French roaster, I guess? No, it's a French where you, you put the water, boils, and comes up top. It's just one cup of water for a fair bit of ground coffee. Is the ratio the same? In a quart jar. So you take this, you know, in a coffee grinder, that much coffee, and you put it in a quart jar. Oh. And Moon Mumba Mumba A cold brew coffee is less acidic and has more caffeine, more caffeine due to being condensed. Really, more caffeine but less acidic. Rumor has it he liked milk. <laughs> The initial idea started from a first attempt at Red Bull. Ah, really? They're trying to get more caffeine out of it for their drinks. I've done the court, court jar, yeah. What ratio do you use? Oh, that, yeah, I'd like to hear the ratio as well. The water exile. Ever tried Bovro? Bo, Bovro? I don't think so. It's an old beef brew that British soldier, beef brew? The British soldiers used to drink in the trenches. Trenches. It's still sold here in be like beef brew. What do you mean beef brew? Beef brew. What is this madness? <laughs> what is this madness? <laughs> That's not how you spell it. <laughs> well, I'm curious beef brew you guys in the uk are maniacs you're drinking beef brew <laughs> salute gang creamy coffee oat milk thingamajig <sighs> so refreshing i gotta check this out this is my last uh, scone or scone my little scone chocolate scones that we have that I made like a few days ago. This is gonna focus. This is gonna focus. Oh, almost, almost, almost. It wants to. It wants to, but it's going crazy with it. It's very crumbly, and the mandarins are fantastic. These are great. Tart. And this guy. It's got little chocolate chips in it. Very crumbly. Very few chocolate chips on this one. See, it's just crumbly. Very good. Boveril. Okay, I gotta crack this open. What is this thing? Boveril. What is Boveril? Boveril. Oh, what is this thing? Boveril is a trademark name of a thick and salty meat extract paste, similar to a yeast extract. Developed in 1870s by John Lawson Johnson, it is sold in a distinctive bulbous jar and has cubes and granulars. Boveril is owned and distributed by Boveril can be made into a drink by diluting with hot water or less commonly with milk what it can be used as a flavorings for soup broth stewing and porridge wow so it's like a preserve wow didn't even realize you could do something like that me too water exile you too you should try the Spartan drink as well. Wow, what? Like bouillon paste. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's how I read it. But it's like, uh, it it looks like it's like beef molasses. Tol Tolaska. Thank you for the follow. It it it. 
it it feels like just a description like seriously beef molasses like if i date molasses grape molasses mm, cane sugar molasses amazing but beef molasses pig's blood and vinegar pig's blood and vinegar <laughs> how funny and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor free assange free assange it's very chill. I'm assuming notifications haven't gone out. I had sort of a little difficulty uh, authenticating because the, I had to do, I had to update the thing on Nightbot or command on Nightbot, and uh, I had to reset passwords and stuff like this. And oh, Twitch has okay. That's the one I was worried about. Uh, so a couple of hours ago, I just couldn't get obs to authenticate with twitch so i had to go in there grab the keys and do the tokens and all this jazz so i was like oh i hate doing this because i have to look it up every time right but it had to be done we brits have always been a bit uh, mental yeah yeah and that's what i gather from all my brit friends <laughs> sometimes sometimes the only partners i had when i was going a little mad right when you want to do some some crazy stuff uh the british tend to be always there the uk and Wales and scots are a little bit uh whales insane as well but the scots are a little bit more cautious it's like wait wait a second where are you going with this? <laughs> but once they're in they're in like flynn right and the irish it's a given right. i know it's not part of the uk i got seeds as, as well uh sunflower seeds salted and roasted this is the last bit i gotta make some more these are fantastic very yummy very yummy salty is amazing and the uh, beef stroganoff we made a couple of days ago today we basically finished it off and uh <laughs> scottish <laughs> your scottish water eggs are and uh today we ate it with pasta and it was amazing with pasta really really good with pasta mixed in so super delicious i like flynn is a slang phrase meaning having quickly or easily achieved a goal or gain access as desired flynn Oh, like Flynn, yeah, yeah. In like Flynn, is that what it means? In like Flynn is a slang phrase meaning, quote, having quickly or e easily achieved the goal or gained access as desired, end quote, okay. So it's a British uh, term as well, UK term as well. You guys use it, in like Flynn? It must be. I really like it. I really like it. I really like it. I was assuming we were going to go crazy with uh, investing stuff um, going on this stream. I actually was thinking that today's stream was going to be current events. So I was like catching up on all my news and stuff. Trash fit. Thank you very much for the follow. I was catching up on, on, on all my current events and stuff. And um, and then I realized the personal finance today. So I chilled off on the current event stuff because that stuff gets you riled up the finance stuff is interesting as hell oh yeah by the way gang tomorrow morning i'm gonna do a short comic book haul video okay most likely around nine or ten o'clock in the morning there's gonna be a maybe earlier maybe a little later i'm not so sure uh so a uh, comic book haul video probably lasts about half an hour there's two golden age cgc romance books and one set of modern age number one issues with the special covers as well 
Cheryl, it's a weird, weird time of year. Everyone seems at odds with themselves. Shifting activities, it'll pick up. Yeah, it's and it, I can feel it. I went for a nice long walk today, and it was a little bit shifty, right? Winter ending, spring coming. People are adjusting. I think current events are are uh, dominated by Megan and Harry. Thank God for Chicho. <laughs> Is that what? Oh yeah, that's right. I, I, by the way, are Megan and Harry the the couple that moved to Canada? Is that is that who we're talking about? I don't know. The the only thing I know about the royals is I don't like royalty. End of story. Anywhere in the world. The centralization of power and theft of. They've built their wealth on the theft of generations upon generations upon generations of humanity right uh, elder god i've noticed a lot of head hunting by bitcoin managers on social media of late i like promoting sales and stuff yeah there's a lot of spam or working towards building the, more of the infrastructure cheryl oh heavens can we can we not talk about them yeah <laughs> Yeah, is that who they are? Yeah, the British Royals. The UK is absolutely sick of these two. They are living uh, on the west coast of Canada, I believe. I think they're living like pretty close to me. <laughs> I can't speak about these Germans. These Germans? Megan needs a trip to Paris. <laughs> hilarious craziness <laughs> craziness personal finance stuff gang whoa that's rough elder god is it rough I, I am totally out of the loop so i'm assuming that's a personal you know insider joke megan needs a trip to paris <laughs> is that <laughs> i don't know what they're up to <laughs> i don't know what they're up to a funny 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 oh yeah that's rough oh that's rough okay oh, i get it yeah 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 yeah. okay elder god whoa that's rough that's rough and they better not get into and if they're going to get into a car they better get into an old buick or something american made 1950s uh with no computer remote access <laughs> no computers wow that's dark that is dark sorry my references can be nasty that was that's hardcore and man is that current events that's not very current it's like 20 years ago 20 plus years ago no underpasses yeah yeah didn't mean to wag my finger at you. <laughs> are they the same age no elder god no oh 24 years on august 31st yeah and it was the same day i believe at least the same week as mother Teresa dying okay that happened within a couple of days if not the day of but within like a week of mother Teresa dying as well and that's an interesting story on its own but that is definitely going on the same dark level as yeah yeah Harry is the same age as when his mother died I believe really damn within six days elder god yeah yeah crazy times we live in crazy times crazy times crazy times by the way gang are you guys in any markets they could go either way and if you bought puts on tesla man you're riding that really nice i remember 1997 very well yeah me too it was a beautiful time gang if you weren't around in the 90s party like prince's music track party like it's 1999 like really 
It was a crazy time. Do I work in finance? No. No. Unless you mean managing my own finances and certain family that I've been involved with to a certain degree. Uh, I don't have a finance license. I will never work in Wall Street. Uh, I will never work for a bank uh, or any financial institution, really, unless they're geared towards decentralizing, <laughs> right? I remember Prince released the 1999 single "Free" in the UK new, uh, UK newspapers. Really, through the single "Free" in the UK newspaper. So th they just announced that they were going to release it free in the UK. Wow, and that was the Prince man. He was respect to Prince. I don't want to invest in anything at the moment. Yeah, Elder God. But keep in mind, there are certain things that are undervalued, and there are certain things most definitely that are overvalued. Like, just uh, like in the markets, there are certain things that are, but. Do you really make your want to make your money from those things? I don't personally. Yes, I still have that disc. You still have that disc. Nice. Nice. Oh, so they provided a disc through the newspapers. Really? Like a CD? That's cool. Right on, Prince. Yeah, and when Prince died, there's one copy of Prince comic book where well, there's more of them, but there's one of them that really got onto collector's uh, radar. And as soon as he died, that Prince comic was selling anywhere between two to three hundred dollars for like a week or a couple of weeks. Now it's down to like forty, fifty dollars, I believe. Water Exile, yeah, a certain paper gave away CDs with the paper. You wouldn't get that these days. No, you wouldn't get that these days. These days unless like i was thinking about this like i'm going to be doing a personal finance just following up on personal finance and investing regarding investing in comic books and i was just laying out some of the things that i'm going to do with the next data set that we're going to look at uh, and it's related to the comic books i sold on ebay last year and i'm going to do a couple of things with them and look at some other metrics and stuff like this right and back in the 90s or back during that period you could get really amazing discounts when you're buying comic books from comic book stores so right now it's impossible like back then i was getting like 30 percent off from comics that i was buying just because i had a nice um uh, i was buying from this comic book store for a long time and it, it, finance was easier economics was easier it was easier for independent uh stores uh, businesses to make money so they could do a lot more now it's more difficult it's so automated it's almost virtually impossible to get the same type of discounts you would get from independent stores back in the 80s and 90s maybe on certain fronts anyway in certain fronts i'm pretty sure you could do okay uh, just because of the digitization of everything it's very weird five years next month 21st april five years he died on April 21st, Prince. Rest in peace, Prince. Salute. Cheryl, I feel the same way. I keep watching and seeing possible opportunities, but can't pull the trigger. And I'm usually fairly risk tolerant. Not sure what's going on. Why I'm so hesitant. Just a feeling, I suppose. Yeah. And there are certain, like for example, I looked at Pfizer's stock today right and Pfizer is one of the most horrendous companies in the world like zero zero uh, empathy like nothing like humanity hu human life means nothing to them right environment means nothing to them the only thing that matters to Pfizer is the same thing that many companies on wall street the only thing that matters to them which is return on investment shareholder value and stuff like this right like if you look at pfizer stock 
relative to what's going on, it's hasn't done a huge jump up. It's giving good dividends and it's fairly stable. And considering the amount of money they're going to be making in the next few years on vaccines and the immunity they have, not being held responsible. If you're looking in terms of just value wise, zero risk, risk tolerance, while you're getting a dividend of four and a half percent or something like this, Pfizer is a great investment. Would I buy Pfizer? Hell no. That's like buying bond, you know, <laughs> serial killer bonds or something like this that pay good dividends. So just conscious is coming into play more so than it ever did for me right like there's pipeline stocks that are paying amazing dividends stable is um, like seriously stable paying amazing dividends and they will continue to pay amazing dividends and continue to make money for at least another decade right coal mining fantastic dividend like there are the oil industry the carbohydrate industry is going to do well in my opinion do i want to invest in that not really right even though it is a necessity of life right water exhaust also i remember we had a solar eclipse at the end of the 90s the end of world paranoia was real and the digital calendar reset yeah but the one thing was amazing in the 90s water exile is the cold war appeared to have ended with in 1988 right with the fall of 1988 99 berlin wall and the eastern Bloc countries coming to play right there was still a lot of skirmishes and wars breaking out but it felt like the threat of nuclear war was gone so the carefree atmosphere of everyone like the experimentation the the electronic music coming up the underground scene it wasn't everything wasn't digitized smartphone weren't there you could make mistakes without being digitized and labeled for the rest of your life so it was amazing things going on right it was brilliant elder god actually i have seen some good offers for pub leases at the moment the smaller uh, companies are in need of a good manager yeah it must be elder god and there's a way to capitalize if you're a small business you need to have at least prepared your business to go digital to a certain degree not that it should be that way but it there's lots of small businesses that have fared quite well even though by the way even though the revenue is up their expenses are, are up as well so their profit might be down but they're keeping their head above water and if they're able to manage this properly the profits will go up as well right so what's happened there's some companies that their revenues are up up the yin yang right but the pro their their expenses are up the yin yang as well because there's a lot of third parties coming into play and taking a skimming the top skimming the top skimming the top skin the top that's just this period right now the percent that these third companies sh should be able to skim is going to become less and less as competition kicks in right so this would be the hardest time for small small business if you can last through this you're going to do quite well uh, in my opinion i've been sitting on cash since last november no confidence in the market uh, for long-term plays indeed no the long term there are some which are legit there are some which are legit right but in general etfs and stuff no not at all and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube one human equals 500 pounds for the corporations yeah trash fit they're just hot because of the vaccine um here's the kicker uh trash fit they're not hot the stock is stable right shh, shh, shh. it's fluctuating anywhere between 21 to 35. you look at certain other stocks the cannabis stocks that we mentioned we talked about like six months ago have returned if you sold at the right time right now right now they're sitting at a return of like 10 times 
three weeks ago was a return of 30 times right so they're not hot other sectors are way hotter way hotter right and this whole vaccine thing is not going away right i haven't bought any vaccine shares but i considered it yeah elder god <laughs> i looked into it there's no way i would buy it i just want to see what the movement was right Halliburton is on the rise oh no shock given recent military action but that's for tomorrow yeah that's for tomorrow but um to a certain degree it is an investment talk i looked at boeing as well All right boeing is up All right 200 plus 220 240 dollars per share right that taxpayer money being funneled to the war machine right damn november 1989 the beginning of freedom haha <laughs> Is that when the Berlin Wall went down? MC Mike, how are you doing? I'm going, I'm doing a, I'm doing a double degree in finance and mathematics. Nice. Since the GameStop event a month ago, I really woke up to what's taking place in the world. I would strongly urge others to not invest in the smart stock market. It is rigged 100%. <laughs> MC Mike. Instead, look at other alternative forms of investing. As for me, I'm making a conscious choice not to work in finance and F Wall Street. MC Mike, right on. Salute, salute, salute. Build alternative systems that can challenge these predatory destructive monopolistic systems that have that are have existed in our societies for so many decades right the Mahler shirt 202 everything you are saying is very interesting to me i understand everything you say of um just a 15 year old but still very interested awesome demolisher i'm glad uh uh, you're finding the stuff interesting it, it is a brilliant by the way it is a brilliant time to be alive really the and it has been for a while now right we're going through some huge growing pains huge 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 growing pains as a species really as a civilization as societies as individuals and there are some people that are faring much better than others so those who aren't faring well they should be looking at others to see why it is that they are faring well not in just terms of finance but mentally emotionally right if you know people who are totally freaking out because they can't go out and they've lost this you know their social ability right to interact with people on a daily basis for sure that is their life that has been turned upside down but everybody should be ready for storms coming in and realize that as a storm how to bunker down how to survive how to last through the storm and to if their surroundings are being destroyed to rise up again and build something that is anti-fragile right not build back better in terms of what world economic form is saying because what they are doing really is destroying huge sectors of the economy that is that are that they do not control right and then they're gonna they want to build on the ashes of um, independent uh, sectors decentralized sectors decided to centralize everything right so there is a serious struggle going on right now serious i think they're going to fail personally and this is personal finance related right so if you're putting your money in the right place if you're investing in the right place and you're you're offering an alternative to these psychopaths that want to control everything about humanity my money if I was a betting person and i am my money would be on the individuals on the decentralized people because they are more they can adapt faster right 
these people, everything has to work out perfectly for them to be able to get to where they want to go. I'm betting it's not going to happen, right? Party again, Cheryl says. Elder God, up the yin yang to take something to the extreme, <laughs> mainly used by those uh, of the racer crowd <laughs> when they are threatened by rival ra racer crowd when they are threatened by rival racers. The water exile. I appreciate your recent explanation of uh, uh, collectibles investing, Chicho. Something for people like myself who are highly creative but have uh, this calculia. Money and numbers can be very foreign language to us. Okay, awesome water exile. I'm glad you liked it. And I'm going to follow that up. That's what I hashed out today, right? We're going to follow that up with the investing comics that we did, right? And I'm going to introduce some new tables. So what we looked at was um, our first comic book haul, right? That how much the value had gone up and return on investment. The next one that we're going to do most likely is the first set of comics I've sold since doing the, that comic book haul video, right? And we sold some comics that I've had for 30 years. We sold some comics that were new. We sold some comics that I bought in the last 10 years and stuff like this. And what I'm going to do is we're going to look at the return on investment on those buys. We're going to look at expenses that you have to remove from there. And we're going to look at how much what the value has done of those comic books relative to when I sold them. So we're going to look at the return on investment on the people that bought the comic books, right? So I sort of figured out how we're going to go about that. I got to build up the spreadsheets and stuff and get the formulas together and create the graphics for them. So it's going to take me a little bit of time, right? Uh, fingers might need a little break from all the computer work I've done recently, right? But once I put that stuff together, we're going to follow that up and it's going to be brilliant, really. It's going to be beautiful the way I saw it unfolding anyway, right? And it's something that I've wanted to do, but... Um, a crack that pops in here he sort of planted the seed and i said okay let's go with that one twitch is full of sips so, how is your degree in mathematics and finance uh doing uh, going to show i don't have a degree in uh finance i have a geophysics degree and a minor in mathematics and it was one of the best choices of my life to get a degree in geophysics and a minor in mathematics i if i had to do it all over again i'd do it all over again right trash fit i've been looking at intercom and tech uh, infrastructure to a certain degree like for example here's here's another one our isp right like internet provider here in canada sort of a monopolistic power right it it's an isp right uh that it's family owned i know that the son of the uh people that started this company, right? The guy gets a $100,000 allowance a month to live on, okay? And he doesn't do anything in the company, just an allowance, right? So it's a monopolistic ISP service company. They're on the markets, they're on the stock market, and they're doing some moves, and they're doing, it's stable, right? They're giving a dividend of around 5%, and the stock is like this. You want safe investment? that is as safe as you could get right that is as safe as you could get and it doesn't really go against the conscious even though it's a monopolistic company it's it's the least like it's not evil it's corrupt it's controlled it's centralized but they're not killing people they're not they're not uh, overthrowing they're not doing coups around the world they don't they're not overthrowing governments right so it's crazy so there are some telecom and tech tech that you can invest in some not the big ones oh my god apparently you need a travel permit to leave the uk from tomorrow Ooh. so i guess travel companies would be at a premium <laughs> crazy underground and travel companies are screwed, I'm guessing. 
Trashford. No, I'm studying economics and not participating in the markets is not a choice. Uh, depends on what car uh, markets trash. Like I'm in the comic book market. Like really, tomorrow morning we're gonna do a comic book haul. I'm gonna show you what I bought. It is three hundred dollars worth of comics, two Golden Age CGC romance comics, and one lot of brand new comics that are number one of a series with all the alternate covers. Okay. The two CGC comics were most of the cost of the buy. Okay. That's a market that I'm invested in and I'm totally happy to be in it. Now I got a quote, fate whispers to the warrior, you cannot withstand the storm. The warrior whispers back, I am the storm. Ha <laughs> ha. That's like a Bruce Lee thing. <laughs> no, uh, would it be Bruce Lee? Who's the killer? Who's the who's uh Bruce Lee would be more chill than that. Who would this be? I swear I've heard this before. Sorry, I love that quote, and it's definitely me. Nice. Have you ever studied finance? I, I did. I did. What I did here, I'll tell you my, my business perspective, right? I went to university after high school for a year, right? In sciences, in geophysics and mathematics. And I was in hard sciences or sciences my whole school career, high school, if you can call the career, right? So I, would, I needed a little change. It was stagnant. So I dropped out of university and people were like, what are you crazy? You got into university on the first, I said, man, I, I just need a break. I want to try something else, right? So I dropped out of university and went to community college to take business. People are like, oh my God, Jijo does it backwards. People go to college to do upgrading, to go to university. This moron is going to university and then downgrading to community college. After that, I dropped out. <laughs> I went and got a job at a gas station to, on, a mid, uh, on, a, on a graveyard shift to be able to read Lord of the Rings. Right? People are like, oh my God, Jijo's lost it. Right? But long story short, I went to university and I wanted something else other than sciences. So I went to community college to take business. And I enrolled in a two-year business program. Within a month and a half, I realized business was just experience. Just do. Learn the system and apply the system, right? And I knew the math, right? So the math was just ridiculous for me. I'm like, Dan, this is your finance? This is, this is what you guys are talking about? Now, I'm not talking about higher master's, PhD degree finance where you're using calculus and stuff. I'm talking about a business degree, right? So after a month and a half, two months, I realized I'm not going to stick through the whole two-year program. This is too simple. I can just do this. I'm already doing this. I had my own business already. I already incorporated a business. I was doing stuff on the side, right? So I just partied for another two months, and the term was over. I failed half the courses, and I dropped out, right? And then a year and a half later, I went back to university, back into sciences. That's my finance schooling, okay? marketing was hilarious accounting was a joke oh yeah by the way my other finance degree here's here's something i did a, something else i did in finance uh tols tolaska do you know sap enterprise resource planning software from germany right 20 over 20 years ago 20 years ago over 20 years ago okay over 20 years ago I was, i've been doing geophysics for like 10 years and I wanted a little change, so I put my name into the SAP program to get certified for SAP because I wanted, I, I saw enterprise resource planning, huge data management. I, I was really into data, right? And I am still into data. Right? I love data. So I looked around and I realized there was SAP was one of the big players, right? Enterprise resource planning, managing lots of data. So I put my name in for SAP modules to get certified in them right and um, i forget what i put my name in i think i put my name in the i can't remember what i put my name in and there was an opening they gave me a call right there was an opening for the fi module fi was the finance module right so they gave me a call and they said hey listen there's been an opening in the finance thing we need to know if you want to fill that spot otherwise we're going to move on to the next person on our list and i said finance finance isn't what i wanted to do and they said look you have to tell us right now if you want to do it or not and i was in vancouver and this course was in montreal they only offered at certain times of the year in certain places in the world right and i said okay what the hell i'll take it now the course was ten thousand dollars right 
21 years ago the co course cost me ten thousand dollars and it was in montreal it was another city so i had to go for get room and board there as well so I, long story short i went to montreal right paid him ten thousand dollars got a furnished apartment for two months okay and first day in class we're sitting there and there's the head of the rcmp the finance for head of the rcmp some people head of finances from different corporations and stuff were there like accountants high level accountants and money managers and stuff like this uh high-end managers and the first thing that teacher says was um <laughs> you know okay gang we're starting like a month and a half crash course on this module uh let's find out who's here and it was like 20 of us in the thing so everyone started getting up saying i'm i'm from this company the company's paying for it i'm getting my fi certificate uh you know i'm here to get my fi because we're going to do implementation roll it out so everyone started getting up and i'm like damn so i got up i got up and i said yeah my name is so and so chicho chicho right uh, my background is geophysics and a minor in mathematics. I've done 10 years of work in environmental geophysics. And the opportunity came up for me to come and get my FI certificate for SAP. So I decided to cough up the money and uh, and uh, come and do the program. Now, I don't know accounting, right? But I bought three books. I, I think I bought three accounting books and I had them on my desk. I got, I got these accounting books to learn accounting just the terminology of how this stuff works and i'm gonna get my fi certificate and maybe try out you know working in this field to see what it's about because i like data management everyone's <laughs> everyone's with effing looking at me they're all like what is this guy insane <laughs> what he's got books to learn accounting while we're going to be the crash course on sap fi module that's most people fail and half the people failed that course right so after a month and a half we do our thing we do a little networking and stuff like this we write the exam i get my fi certificate right half the class failed um uh, i don't know you know like man what what i what i've said i mean learn the language of mathematics for anyone that wants to do anything in your life learn the language of mathematics and you could pretty much do almost anything you want in your life if you put your mind to it right it took a lot of time i mean we we get up in the morning we'd be in class like the whole day and then we'd go have dinner and i would go home and start reading my accounting books write down ledger <laughs> what is a ledger oh assets this 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 i hadn't done that stuff for like whatever years right and I didn't really pay attention. Oh, let's check it out. Statistics. Mathematics statistics is the best financial weapon. Statistics indeed. Oh my God. Less faith in the open market stretches out the effects of recession. So spending keeps economies alive. Depends on the economy. He's a legendary Rob Boss, how are we doing? Is the comic book market a niche market? What are the annual returns on all comic book ETFs? <laughs> I don't know. Are there comic book ETFs? <laughs> I've never. I haven't looked into it. Uh, but I think it would be a niche market. As I show, that's awesome. Yeah, visuals and math have always aided me. What did Cheryl say? Cheryl, what exact? I'm right there with you. Something fi uh, finally clicked. All the visuals and calculus. If finance weren't so graph friend, uh, I would be at a loss. Yeah. And Chicho, Chicho is fantastic. I included them together. I was always stronger as a visual person uh, at geometry than the likes of algebra. Math can be a very difficult language, but oddly, creative people can grasp it spatially fairly quickly. Yeah, and there is there is a textbook out there which teaches calculus with just geometry. I've st I've still yet to grab that book. Uh, I have to look it up again. But I read a a chapter in it and it was pretty cool or skim through a chapter anyway it was pretty cool economics is mostly statistics and calculus yeah uh data sets really 
for me related fields are almost more useful than the target module now in my area people with sap experience can basically write their own tickets yeah during then as well but there was a market crash but i did work in sap uh you know i got a call uh, sap and i went and did some sap work for a company and stuff like this it was okay you know i tried it out i got my certificate i was fine with getting it uh, and I know I can do it now, so if I ever want to do it, I could go back into it. My name is Chicho, and I'm an anarchist. <laughs> oh my god, should have done that <laughs> at the time. I don't know if I would say I was an anarchist, I, I was, but I didn't know, right? I didn't like using SA. SAP is a man. All look, working, working in this company, okay managing their data and it wasn't fi that i was managing they hired me to do work on a different module right uh, it wasn't implementation it was just making sure the data was flowing properly i can honestly tell you all this all this huge data in these huge corporations that they give you all these numbers that this is here this is there there is so much error in their data sets human error a huge chunk of it human error because people categorize things in the wrong uh wrong place the skews are all messed up it's just for show it's just for show none of these companies work as efficiently as they pretend to be they don't it's a joke it's a joke being the perfect candidate is almost a path to failure yeah at least when someone else has decided you're the perfect candidate yeah <laughs> spending keeps me alive yeah that's regarding the sap yeah you should have seen people were stressed out like i was like i talked to people they're like oh my god my company paid for this and i don't think i'm gonna pass i, don't, I can't wrap my hair around it i don't get it i was like what's there not to get you this points to this and that points to these and you just got to make sure that that point on the right and that's the code for this this they're like what what i'm like <laughs> i was like a geophysics guy helping out accountants to figure out how the stuff was moving i was like damn it's crazy rickety rocket spending keeps me alive too indeed water exile i would love that book on sp uh, spatial cow yeah it's it's out there somewhere uh if you send me a reminder i'll try to find it again uh, I can't, it's been a while since i looked at it uh trash fit i hate that finance is all about the graph uh it always seemed backwards to me know the math that makes the graph is more uh, for sure you can manipulate it but with technology that we have right now the graph is the function right and the function is the graph so you should be able to manipulate things and the graph is really a visual representation of the calculus of what's taking place right um, and data sets so for example think of a graph as taking a major data set and data with rows and columns and it's very difficult like I, I like looking at rows and columns you can pick out the anomalies individual anomalies really well right but if you have a data set of let's, let's say a million points or a hundred thousand points or even ten thousand points right in rows and columns to get a visualization of what that data set is telling you you can just look at the different metrics and see the different graphs behaving right and then once you get a good feel for sort of what's going on what you can do is go to the table and look at specific times right so they work hand in hand so they work hand in hand water which is too pure has no fish haha <laughs> elder god and it'll kill you if you drink too much of it water which is too pure has no fish who said that elder god is that an elder god quote that quote for me means if it's too good to be true don't invest haha <laughs> it also means uh for me if they pretend to be righteous the odds are they're not right accounting is super easy but too boring that's a trash fit that's the way i found it too 
it just it was just sort of i don't know and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information please see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor to mandarin delicious I'm very glad our live stream worked. I was worried that it wasn't going to kick in. I like that. If they say you need something, then you definitely don't. Ha <laughs> ha. Lots of anomalies in politics right now. Tolaska. Geophysics is using instruments to find um, to give you the structure or find anomalies to do uh, research into the structure of the earth. Now, it could be on a micro scale or a macro scale, so it could be using instruments may they be seismic, radar, electromagnetics, magnetics, gravity, radar, uh, whatever, right. To find what's in the ground ranging from millimeters to the whole globe so for example i've used electromagnetic methods when i was doing geophysics to map out a former grave site that was raised that was leveled right so i worked on a site on one level I've, i worked mapping um, contaminant plumes coming off landfills going into water supplies and stuff like this i've worked done seismics going really deep or radar going really deep for tailing ponds and labrador and stuff like this but i've also worked at a site where they believed it was the oldest cemetery in canada right but there was no tombstones it was leveled right it was native american site and i went in there with an electromagnetic instrument with two electromagnetic instruments one that was going shallow and another one that was a little deeper and i took readings every half a meter half a meter by half a meter half a meter right so grid or maybe it was 25 centimeter like really dense readings and mapped out the underground electromagnetic um, data found anomalies and anomalies is just basically relative to the surrounding if it's anomalous it looks different is very much that's why i like differential accumulation when it comes to finance from jonathan nitsan and capitalist power is because everything's relative so relative to the background is are there any anomalies and we mapped those out and we gave them those readings and they went out and dug them and found the graves right one of the graves which was super interesting was they found the graves of i believe it was five kids that had drowned during a boating accident like this was like a long time ago right and they buried them all together and were able to find the five kids that died in a drowning incident this was in ontario that was a really cool project that was a very cool project cheryl i've just been uh, thinking about how many people i know mostly other creative creatives who would have had a better school experience with map text oriented towards visual thinkers frustrating frustrating indeed cheryl frustrating indeed greetings blessings dr p how are you doing now the god biden is not taking questions <laughs> we don't want him talking <laughs> crazy it's clown world king canada live how are you doing brother greetings chicho and chat hope everyone is well and enjoying their weekend indeed hope you are well as also right water exile i want her uh, percent agree cheryl yeah hey cheryl everyone's talking king canada live chicho did that grave sit happen to be in saint andrews ontario it was in um god that was i'm thinking back like 30 years now was it saint andrews or was it Kingston? The Kingston, Ontario. I don't think it was Kingston. It wasn't. 
it it was it was in a it was in a rural area. Uh, so Saint Andrews, I don't remember. Where, I can't remember where Saint Andrews. It was in a rural area. It was farmland. Um, I can't remember where it was, man. I just know the field I was there, and there was, um, I forget which tribe it was. They had their representative there, and I've worked for a lot of a lot of tribes uh, uh, there during government and tribal leaders uh, with land and stuff. Is seriously the experience was amazing right um being there as a scientist uh and having empathy for the tribes is what is taken and doing something beneficial uh so the reward was amazing but i remember it was an open field and by the way thank you very much for the subs gang i am a god baby i apologize if i'm missing any of them right uh, so it was an open field ontario is beautiful territory too right it's amazing beautiful so the wisconsin ballot search will go down in history books <laughs> water exile amazing times to be alive amazing times to be alive the literally addressed nasa as a native american tribe yesterday are you serious <laughs> hilarious what do i miss comedy gold moment yeah seriously that sounds like a comedy gold moment please link it up you do it god i'm not making that ah oh, water exile or elder god if you find it link it up on our discord please i love to see this too the like crazy i'm assuming we can talk a lot a lot more about this tomorrow And by the way, one of the reasons uh, that geophysics, uh, as far as I saw, I see it, was so amazing, was because geophysics was about data management. You collect tons of data, so much. You're looking at all this data, right? And then you have to analyze the data, which is really what finance is about, right? You have these data, and you're going to analyze it and find anomalies and find trends and see what's going on, right? So if you can manage data, if you've done a lot of data analysis, it's very easy to jump from finance to geophysics to statistics to actuarials to whatever you want to go into, right? King Canada Live, Simon Fraser or Fraser River is buried right beside my house uh, here in Ontario. What? Simon Fraser or Fraser... A Fraser River really is buried right beside my house here in Ontario, and apparently it's one of the oldest cemeteries in Canada. Uh, I was a Mohawk bury. It was a Mohawk buried site before Europeans. Oh, really? Maybe we'll see. the The burial site that I worked at was really small. It was. I'm trying to think how big it was. It was maybe 50 meters by 50 meters. It was very small, very small, and there was no markings anywhere, no stones. What had happened, and this happens with a lot of burial sites, especially the older ones, you get mass floods or floods coming in or land movement, and the tombstones move, right? And if there's an imperialist nation occupying the land, they don't care about the gravestones right or the grave sites like for example azerbaijan taking over nagorno karabakh the southern part of nagorno karabakh one of the first things the isis warriors or the isis terrorist fanatics with the azerbaijani and turkish backed soldiers did and are doing is destroying the grave sites of the armenians which is something that turkey has done w wiping the area of any tombstones in the grave sites so the tombstones move but the bodies remain right so crazy times cosmo context hello chicho i have a question about renting versus home buying i know it depends on many factors but does it ever make sense to rent for a long period of time or is it financially irresponsible if you have the means to buy a home no it is not financially irresponsible if you have the means to buy a home if you decide to rent for example if you're thinking about personal finance and investing when you buy a home you're carrying a huge debt so your liquidity is sort of 
not there if all of a sudden huge investment opportunities pop up for you right so for example it basically is about return on investment right let's assume you buy a home like a lot of people say you should buy a home return on investment right you can control a lot of money by having a little that's the only advantage by the way for buying a home because you can go into the, the banks will give you ton of debt for minimum down payment right five percent it used to be in canada it's ten percent or something so let's assume it's ten percent so let's assume you you're going to buy a million dollar home right in canada it was five percent right so if you're going to buy a million dollar home the banks would loan you the money okay as long as you put five percent down if you had good credits right and if you had job and you could show all the stuff you got co-signers so for fifty thousand dollars you could control a million dollars now you don't own that million dollars right the bank owns it that's just you they've agreed to loan it to you right and you're paying interest on it for 20 years 25 years 30 years some, some people actually sign 30 year mortgages right so if you have that right let's assume an opportunity comes up for you to invest money somewhere and by the way you're paying interest you're paying mortgage on this and all this just let's assume an opportunity comes up for you to buy something at very cheap value right but you don't have the capital to do it you have to go get a second mortgage on your home which means you're going to more debt you're going to pay more interest right now just imagine if you didn't buy that you're paying rent right you got no overhead other than your rent pipe burst call the landlord right roof leaking call the landlord uh dishwasher breaks call the landlord right landlord in my area has to come and sweep the driveway of snow right they have to do gardening you got zero responsibility and you're not a million dollars in debt or nine hundred fifty thousand dollars in debt you got fifty thousand dollars in the bank and if you have good credit enough credit to buy a million dollar home it means you can get more money all of a sudden opportunity comes up for example a year ago when the stock market dropped 30 percent there was a lot of cheap things to buy so you go borrow another fifty thousand dollars or you just take your fifty thousand dollars and dump it into this 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 cannabis stocks this 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 right now if you invest in cannabis stocks from six months ago right eight months ago your money of fifty thousand dollars would have been anywhere between half a million to 1.5 million right who those people that say the home is the best investment you can make in your life are talking bs okay it might be the largest investment or largest opportunity for you to go into debt in one lump sum yes was it a good idea to buy a home sure if you can get it a good deal and you're going to sit in there for a while and if you're going to live long term like 30 years in one place maybe right sure sure buy a home right now depending on where you are certain land prices house prices are through the roof right and it really depends on when you're buying for example those people who bought into the bubble in the 1980s in the housing market in western canada right would have had to wait 20 years to get their money back 20 years to get your money back for the value of your property to be the same level it was before okay well that was in the 1980s well just imagine if you bought microsoft stock back then right so no it really depends on your own personal uh personal financial needs right if you're raising a family and you can't have a landlord saying oh i want to do rental eviction they want to renovate to evict you so they can raise the rent right if you got no rent control in your area or if you have rent control in your area right then yeah sure there's a certain amount of stability that comes with owning a property right there's more of a financial burden you're less liquid right you have less maneuverability okay it really depends with your current mic you sound like a philosopher 
bar barba non facet philothermalis. <laughs> a beard does not constitute a philosopher, <laughs> but it helps. <laughs> the longer it is, the longer, uh, the more respect you should have, I guess. I thought Biden referenced Indian American, not Native American. Uh, crazy. If you want to have a good joke, not a good joke, ah, I shouldn't even say it. You're correct. Oh dear, that's me having a Biden moment. Haha, <laughs> ah, that should be a thing, a Biden moment. Count alive. It seems like the housing market is the only thing uh, pro uh, propping the Canadian economy. It's, it's, it's a huge sector of most Western economy, Canada, United States anyway. Uh, Canada econ uh, economy up. And yeah, even in rural Ontario here, the cost of housing is insane. Yeah. And it's a huge money laundering mechanism for governments and a huge opportunity for governments to get tax revenue right there's been people in canada in west coast that i know right that these people bought a home in a certain area right and their property was this much and they assumed the taxes were going to be this much now what happens over the years the property value goes up well what happens with the property value goes up oh the tax burden goes up so all these people there's been people like in canada in western canada old people that have been living in their homes for 30 years 35 years 40 years there's been people that have needed to sell their homes right because they couldn't afford the taxes on the home right even though they paid off the house right for them to be able to pay the taxes they have to go borrow money to pay the taxes so they're going into debt again or they have to defer the taxes and that's something that canadian government did like i mean look at this damn scam right they raised the property value of citizens of nate of the people living in the country right and for people that own a property and if you're a senior citizen 65 or plus you could defer the taxes on your property right so you don't have to pay it the government just says okay you this much on the taxes right this much on the taxes every year and then when you die when the property goes to your children or your relatives or whoever you want to leave it to they have to pay the collective tax taxes that were deferred right so when the person's 65 years old they can defer the taxes let's say they live to be 80 years old well, let's say 75 years old 10 years right and the taxes on the on on the land on the house might be anywhere between five to ten thousand dollars per year right that's 10 years worth of taxes right so as soon as the person passes in the will the house goes to whoever right then the people getting that have to pay anywhere between fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollar and that's on the low end that's after 10 years fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars in taxes to the government Boom. right now i don't know about you but in my part of the world a lot of kids that their parents or a lot of people that their parents are might be passing their senior citizens if they get that property they don't have that money to pay to keep that property right and the government man, you owe money to the government they want it they don't give a rat's ass if you gotta go bankrupt to pay them right so what they're gonna end up, have to end up doing is selling the property to be able to generate that revenue to pay the tax man right now what happens is people start knocking off people selling so it's sort of a ponzi scheme that they're they're rolling right it's a money laundry mechanism it's crazy in canada it's absurd right yeah I, I, look and the, the reason i know a lot about the housing market is because our family was involved with the housing market for 30 years i've seen it roll out 
Gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. You've added to Discord. Awesome. Bought that video. Couldn't decide between the politics of comedian threat, so it's almost awesome. <laughs> Good choice. I just watched why this man has the nuclear. <laughs> Have a good night. I enjoyed your stream. Good night, trash. Thanks for popping in. Don't worry, water exhaust. Cheryl says, I haven't watched them, so I'm sure it's an uh, intent versus actual worst thing. Or <laughs> the man, the legend Smith, how are you doing? Elegon, I'm planning for this event. Claus is not getting my uh, parents house. Yeah, Elder God. You will be happier and you will own nothing. Or you will own nothing and you will be happier. You will be happier. What? F you, Claus. Thanks for your answer. I appreciate these streams. My pleasure, uh, Cosmo uh, Cortez. And it's really up to you. And mobility and peace of mind and, and everything. <laughs> you want to come up? What's going on? You want to come? No, oh, it's okay. You go play. He's like, hey, what's going on up there? That's Via. He wants loving. Okay, I'm going to bring him up. Hold on. Well, he jumped up. Here's Via. Salar Via. Via. <laughs> Sal, it's rare. Sal comes up and does this very seldomly. And only when uh, he's sleepy sal is sal is a is super cool and so is via sal likes taking baths <laughs> he does a little meow at first and then and then he he just sits there and just goes mm -hmm. like <laughs> give me a kitty but he's like looking at you in the eyes he's got yeah, Sal is, Sal is super cool. So is Via. They're both like super awesome. Really. They're so cool. Fun cats, man. Fun cats. They're kitty cats, so they're creating a little bit of chaos around here. <laughs> it's like they've only been here for like a month and a half now. And it's like, feels like six months, right? Uh, because the lifestyle change for us has been quite dramatic two kitty cats we have to kitty proof the area we've closed off certain areas and stuff but they're having the two entities these two beings live with us has been quite interesting quite interesting quite interesting and you build a bond with them so fast and via is by the way characters via is very stubborn and when via wants something via wants something no he wants that he wants there no 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 sal is very cat-like he's very he's crazy agile super fast via is a pouncer but sal is super fast uh, and he's very cat-like and a very kind soul they're both very kind soul but sal in a unique way he's just such a loving cat but once once cuddles when he wants cuddles he doesn't want to be he's not a burden he listens to you when he say no he goes okay no i'll just go do over here and he's just such a gentle soul sal they remind me of my nieces uh -huh. <laughs> so cosmic vision say she show really great to see you got my new place got it got my new place what did you get where are you did you buy a place apartment or are you uh, renting to a new place are you happy with it <laughs> you got your tongue out <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing is that a good thing or a bad thing fun coffee oat milk turmeric and maple syrup mm, candy rent and yes good awesome good 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 
Do you have a patio or a garden or anything going on? If you do, grow some food. If you do, grow some food. Without a doubt, without a doubt. I'm looking at a 17th century tavern to take over in Nottingham. Really? Does that mean you buy the land as well? Or are you just going to be renting, Elder God? Sunflower seeds. Pan fried actually with salt. Very yummy. Addictive. As long as Wall Street doesn't start buying off retail space, retail space should be quite cheap. If not right now, soon. Kanguru, thank you very much for the follow. Cosmic Vision, just renting, but I got a jalapeno plant so far. Ah, nice. <laughs> jalapeno plant. They give off a lot of jalapenos, man. Actually, I could do both, but I usually rent. Yeah. Less burden. Unless you're thinking long term is really low value. Right. But be careful with buying too as well, gang. Governments are cash strapped. They're looking for tax revenue. They're charging tax on eBay. Okay. Um, more places I'm buying off eBay. I'm being zapped for the tax. People that were buying from me, all of a sudden, halfway through, they were paying more tax. Okay. Uh, property value is going up. Government more, wants more tax. More regulation coming in. They're going to want more tax. Uh, so uh, transportation tax is going to go up. Maintenance tax is going to go up. My long term doesn't finish in the UK. Okay. Then. Then. I personally wouldn't down, put down the roots in the UK if your long term you know is not going to end there. For me, I like Western Canada. My long term I think is going to be here, but we see. My own scones, or scones as a student says. really yummy and baking is fantastic and munching is great walk-in shower bathtub nice two ceiling fans and all brand new white walls all over the cabinet and all nice can't ask for anything more nice very good cosmic congrats on the new move in get your plants out elder god quote save some money so you can die somewhere warm and don't touch it for any any anyone ever that's a good idea um, which is good financial advice have some money that you're putting aside that you're not going to reach into for anything other than what you had planned for, unless this is like a serious life or death emergency, right? If you have to go without, don't touch that money, right? Only life or death situation, either for yourself or your family, you touch that money. If you, if you need to downsize to be able to pay your bills, downsize, don't touch that money. If you want to, if you need to reduce your entertainment money, reduce it. Don't touch that money. That money is your savings, is your retirement, is your investing in a long-term plan that you have. Bad grammar, sorry. It's late for me. <laughs> no worries, man. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> I'm the guy who misspells and misreads a lot of things. Right. What a chill stream. What a chill stream. Nice. 
Ace Firecat, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Quote, if it comes between you and them, send flowers. Haha. <laughs> Ace Firecat, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, please see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on SensorTube. More scone. This is the last bit. I need to make more. Maybe we wait. I've been making way too many pastries. Cookies and pastries and Well, I haven't made pastries. I guess cookies and scones and bread. Cheryl. Telling friends that my long term involves a lot of wandering usually makes them confused. They assume I mean to take occasional trips, but when I explain that I would love to be able to just keep mobile, it makes them anxious. I understand being tied to place, but there is a just too much to see and experience. Yeah. I've never understood the mentality of two week vacations people work their asses off and sacrifice everything over for 50 weeks so they can go two weeks in canada anyway somewhere and go crazy drink all they want eat all they want get some sun and then they come back and don't go don't go to the beach when they have the opportunity and stuff like this uh, i don't understand that mentality i love the mentality of and I can appreciate it moving somewhere and living there for a year or two years to see what it's like getting to know the locals and then moving somewhere else for a year or six months or a few months and so on and so forth, right? Krishna, thank you for the follow. It could be taxing, right? Yeah, there's got to be a certain amount of stability to the world to a certain degree. Uh, one of the problem is is if you're moving from an expensive country to a less expensive country and your revenue stream decreases then it becomes harder to scale up again right so scaling down works but scaling up is more difficult so there are problems associated with that elder god sometimes Shicho, i wish i was born in a much earlier period for me no i'm glad i lived through the 80s and 90s they really 80s and 90s were through the roof early 2000s as well 2000s as well i, I don't know i love this period as well it's exciting oh god really and it depends different period in what state right like some people say oh i wish i lived in uh, you know medieval times i go well you only wish you live in the medieval times if you were well off right i don't think you wanted to live during the medieval times if you were a slave if you were working in a mine pits and stuff like this right so it depends cheryl it's because you're so close to the us and our nose to the grindstone mentality yeah yeah it's very weird cheryl but really i've seen people sacrifice everything for f for 50 weeks so they can let loose for two weeks which is the same mentality they have is they sacrifice everything for five days so they can let loose on the weekend they go crazy on the weekend party hard party hard monday's hangover day they do this week after month after year after year it's like oh exhausting exhausting 1000 bc oh 1000 bc what was going on 1000 bc that's a Roman uh, Roman Empire. My, my history thing is bad, man. Cheryl, as a man that could be, uh, as a man that could be interesting, it could uh, be iffy as a woman. Yeah, and I don't mean that as a commentary, just reality. It is. It is. Yeah, yeah. 
No Roman Empire, 1000 BC. Few hundred years BC was a Roman Empire. So 1000 BC, which empire would have been? But Cheryl, yeah. Depending on where you're going to. Uh, as a man, it's easy for sure. As a woman, dangerous in most places. Very iffy in most places. Chewing ice. Yummy. What a chill stream. I got a feeling tomorrow's stream is not going to be chill. Tomorrow's stream is current events. My, my, my. <laughs> my, oh my, oh my. Later, Egyptian Empire. 1000 BC was Egyptian Empire? Okay. Yeah, the slavery in the, during the Egyptian Empire would have been through the roof. What would you like to be there during uh, during that time, Elder God? Definitely not the slave. Slave master? Mm, I don't know. The merchant? The pirate? The pirate? Uh, the only period I would love to go live in is uh, Conan the Barbarian. And I wouldn't want to be Conan's partner because a lot of Conan's partners die. <laughs> I would I would like to be Conan. <laughs> I'd be the dude with the uh the bird head, haha. <laughs> pirate all the way, pirate all the way. I, I think I would go pirate as well. I would be on the sea, yeah. 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 Pirate, sea pirate it would be cool traveling from port to port oh man the debauchery would be amazing the debauchery would be amazing go to those ports where there's like the pirate times and you walk down the wrong alley and your cut purses come up and you you gotta go into a knife fight drunken knife fight to stay alive find america get all the gold for <laughs> That means you have to kill a lot of the indigenous population. I don't think I would, I'd be into that, man. I don't think I'd be into that. Conquistador. Be a conquistador? Nope. No. Don't want anybody else's gold. Unless it's... Uh, well, I guess pirate, you're taking other people's gold. But uh, being a pirate in the Mediterranean would be okay. I could handle being a woman in Viking era Scandinavia. Yeah. Oh, got a knife fight. I can go outside and get that now. Haha. <laughs> in the UK. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Like certain parts of uh, UK and certain parts of Europe are, from what I understand, are very very sketchy now right it's yeah i'm in scotland it's awful here is it ace fire cat like seriously it's gone that bad that it's awful in scotland how long how long has it been like that knife crime is really bad really damn that's unfortunate it hasn't hit here it hasn't hit here which i'm very very grateful for really the crime petty crime is up here as well but not on that level it's been awful in scotland since train spotting <laughs> ah your mom's from glasgow elder god wow wow so it's really bad in scotland now damn i don't think ireland is that bad is it It's because you can't pick up a gun at the grocery store. <laughs> Cheryl's like, any advice in getting background check <clears throat> applications back from a predatory leasing agency? Oof. Uh, small claims court, etc. in the U.S. No. 
can kangaroo one of the things i recommend if uh you're you're going through some financial turmoils and stuff like this right because if you're going through some financial turmoil the odds are your bank account information is out there right your bank account information is out there one of the simplest thing you can do to cut those links is go to your bank and say listen i don't feel safe with this bank account close all of these accounts and open up brand new accounts like just close them all, all you do is you close all the accounts that you have right and you open up brand new accounts at the same sitting if you want brand new accounts that are not linked up to that period end of story no one like as soon as you do that it's like the system has a hiccup uh, okay what do we do now and then they have to roll in new things or whatnot as far as predated checks and stuff like this i you know you should be able to cancel them and not be held liable for them right um i don't know i don't know she grew up in east house i still have cousins they don't have my bank account info they just stole my application fee while simultaneously renting the property to someone else without the oh dude some of that has been going on in canada as well my bank accounts are 100 fine and the majority of my assets are security uh securely stored in cold wallets awesome uh can a kangaroo um what you can do is hire uh, an outside company to go after them the kicker for that is you know they'll go after it let's say it's a thousand dollars you'll get like a hundred dollars back and they'll get 900 if it if it gets resolved so all you're doing is uh, making it harder for them but you're not going to get most of the money back uh, unless you do all the paperwork yourself which is phew, what a pain in the ass right nine purchases no names as well nice now, i found out one of the things with prepaid credit cards online some places don't accept the prepaid uh, credit cards which is like what the hell yeah it's only 150 uh probably not worth pursuing honestly just can't charge back through the bank it was actually my mother that paid i'm more angry that they screwed over a 61 year old disabled woman like yeah and can uh, kangaroo you might want to go after them for just just because right i've done that i've done that i've gone after in park because they pissed me off i called them up and to complain about something they did i wanted to and the person on the phone hung up on me so i called them back again and by chance it ended up being the same person that answered right and i said hey listen da, da, da. he goes oh yeah as soon as he spoke i go oh you're the, you're the guy that hung up on me i go i'm talking to you and you hang up on me i have an issue with you guys and he goes there's nothing you can do about it and he hung up on me i went mother there's nothing i can do about it f you stopped doing everything hopped into my car went to the courthouse i went to the teller and i said listen i have an issue is there anything i can do about it and the court the teller as soon as you give anybody that can help you out you tell them you want in park is the person you want to go after a company you want to go after they'll help you out everybody hates in park they're evil right as smith said and the teller says well this is what you can do you can file a claim against them for up to ten thousand dollars anything more than that you got to file a lot more papers so you can file a claim up to ten thousand dollars it'll cost you a hundred dollars i go let me do it so i filed a ten thousand dollar claim against them paid a hundred dollars i was fighting him over like 
three hundred dollars, like two hundred dollars, something stupid, right? I paid a hundred dollars to file a claim against them, and I made them pay. It cost them at least twenty thousand dollars to deal with my one hundred dollar claim, and I had the had the manager, the CEO of Impark. I, I think it was the CEO of Impark for all Canada at some point, or the district for British Columbia. I had him on the stand questioning him for two hours. <laughs> it felt good. Oh God, I watched the net last night. It's mad how it predicted a lot of future online crimes. Yeah, oh God. Kangaroo, I'm waiting until I can relocate to the area before I pursue legal action. In the process of moving, so I can, uh, I got bigger stuff ta uh, taking, uh, where, where did I go? Uh, taking priority at the moment. Just really want to go after, after them out of 100% spite. Yeah. Kangaroo. And by the way, look, it felt good, but I also, it was a huge benefit as well. I also learned how the system works. So I went through the paperwork, I filed stuff. I, I, would, I sat in a discovery with me on one side, a retired judge that was trying to arbitrate between us with the manager, the CEO of the Impark, with two of their top lawyers sitting across the table from me in a room. They had booked us for like an hour and a half to two hours to resolve the situation right the judge kept on saying look this is this i took pictures i did we stayed there the whole day we had a we had an intermission and then we came back in the afternoon i held them there for a whole day just imagine what it cost them two of their main lawyers sitting there all right for a whole the judge was like this guy's not letting go. I'm, I ain't letting go. All right? And I learned how this worked. What a stupid system. All right? Every time I call a company hotline, I find myself in India. <laughs> Philippines here as well. Cheryl, uh, may need to do that for the kiddo because of more no cash sales points. The bank has won without fees. Either that or get a parents signed credit card for 12 oh, 12 year old why is that even an option why is that even an option small claims is up to ten thousand dollars here also dude also dude also showed up to the house viewing while covid positive endangering my mother who has dude you should sue their asses off well no no don't take this as advice seriously but man oh that kind of shit pisses me off man cheryl it's a great idea but keep it tight no connections to online cool can i guru that is amazing enormous balls to do that it just i was pissed man the guy on the phone told me there was nothing i could do about it right that means that guy on the phone is part of the problem He's a piece of crap, right? Representing a piece of crap company. So I decided to try to see what I could do about it, right? Never tell a Chicho they can't do anything about it. <laughs> More power to you. Makes me feel better about my future prospects suing these dirtbags. Yeah. Uh, by the way, look, it it might be stressful, right? When we went to court, okay long story I'll, I'll tell you what happened after court the judge found in their favor and stuff like this we came out of the court this manager ceo guy he came out of the court he was flaming mad he was effing pissed man he turned to me he goes i told you the judge told you you were gonna lose you still pushed it this far he's going like this at me right so i listened to the guy i listened to the guy i turned to him right we walked down the hallway and i turned to him and i made him stop look at me I said, listen, if I get one more call from you guys, one more letter from you guys, I'm taking a full page ad in the two papers we have in the city. Okay, I'm gonna take a full page, 
full page ad in both of them and i'm going to file a class class action lawsuit against you guys i'm going to rip you up part i'm going to make sure this thing costs you millions of dollars if not hundreds of thousands of dollars okay i'm going to make you pay if i get one more phone call one more letter end of story right the guy's like what i didn't hear back from him nothing right f them these monopolistic companies these pieces of crap that think they can throw their weight around the world and f over regular people like me and you you push back a little bit they fold right they bend right within reason of course right it's like bullies right what's the one thing that a bully fears the most is a little guy standing up to him right because the bully knows the bully can beat the crap out of the little guy the problem is if the little guy gets a hit in right gets one hit in and the bully looks a little weak right in front of everybody else what happens if the little guy gets a kick in in the right place what happens if the little guy gets a nice little scratch going across the eyes right that's what the bullies fear the bullies don't like any resistance you offer resistance to a bully right basically don't be a victim don't look like a victim and make sure if anybody's coming after you after you they realize there's a price to be paid on their part okay i have to be honest i have i have been using covert regulations to my benefit while supposing <laughs> with my other hand the best strategy is to be flexible the best strategy is to be flexible <laughs> kangaroo you're amazing so glad i found this stream ah nice to have you kangaroo you're what i don't know take everything i say with a grain of salt of none of this is life advice financial advice it's not advice this is just my me sharing experiences right Thank you for sharing your perspective. Your advice is invaluable. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. I hope it works out for you, man. And if it gets a little bit too much, if it gets a little bit too much, be happy with what you've done and just pull out. Right? You don't have to go all the way. Right? You can poke them a little bit, make it disturb. Right? Like, but only go as far as you're comfortable and it's not stressing you out. Okay. when i got bullied at school my bullying required six bullies and when when and even then it was about even <laughs> my bully required six bullies <laughs> tan oxen tan oxen rich is being able to buy what you what one wants wealth is able to buy what one needs long-term investments create sustainable wealth and can be can lead to richness yeah could 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 right and investing in the right place hope you hope no one's still holding xerox stock <laughs> right can't grow. if i can convince them even for a few days in court that would be more than enough justice for me nice nice inconvenience them more than a few days man for us it was just one day they, they, the court had only put aside like two hours again and we went all day <laughs> went all day <laughs> what up chicho zabrowski how are you doing hope life is well oh we're almost at the end gang we're almost at the end fun stream nice and chill nice and chill very simple personal finance video considering all the uh, all the stuff that's going on discord i thought it was going to be a little bit more more intense i still have some uh lehman brothers have i ever won <laughs> no do you cheryl what is the local time for you it's about almost 10 o'clock 9 54 9 54 the kitty cats are wrestling money is just trees given value by society yeah yeah, i don't think it's even uh trees anymore thank you very much for uh the sub uh for the follow nathan i appreciate it 
Gang, let's call the stream. Okay. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the chill times. Thank you for the discussion. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Uh, thank you for the laughs. Thank you for the links in Discord if you linked us up. Elder, you got any extra to toss my way? <laughs> Make paper airplanes. Just waiting for the right write off at this point. Uh -huh. Thanks for streaming. My pleasure, Ace uh, Farcat. And thank you for the follows and thank you for the subs, gang. Gang, if you want to follow this work, uh, uh, by the way, we will be streaming tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow morning, most likely, comic book haul video, unscheduled. I'll announce it all the platforms and on. Uh, discord and patreon uh half an hour maybe a few minutes before we go live if it happens but tomorrow night for sure at 8 p.m uh basically 22 hours from now uh current events live stream okay aside from that mc mike my pleasure uh sorry money is just sheep given value by more sheep pretty much i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to follow this work, if you want to know what this work is about, which is basically layered on mathematics, Patreon is a great way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share, share, and like. And gang, for those of you that were supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. It is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this. Kangaroo, I'll be on the lookout for this stream again. This has been very useful. Thank you. My pleasure. My pleasure early early or we'll pass first copa on the east coast yeah early early for our uk friends gang we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if uh you want to participate in the chat which is where you want to be at and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs thank you for being here thank you for the discussions thank you for the love and mods thank you for taking care of business i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo mys vk gap twitter and we do have a discord page and you can come to our chat anytime you want and elder got this and i'll do it again punch in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up including the link to our discord server discord channel where you can join the discussion there's a few people 700 plus people that have joined the discord and uh, they're sharing information and participating in the discussion we're seeing you again yeah indeed kangaroo thank you for popping into the stream and everyone that's new here gang as well as everyone that's been here for a while we will be uploading this live stream as a podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes thud that was the cats fighting the wrestling oh, oh. they're like really they're like judo -y. it's super cool super cool we got 759 souls very nice very nice i think a couple of bots in there as well and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to bitchute and rumble and if you have points to odyssey as well and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by following liking sharing commenting and uh, subscribing and if you're on youtube you can join youtube sensor tube membership and there's a button there and there's a handful of you that are supporting this work on that platform thank you very much for the support gang it is because of the support that we're getting on all these platforms and more that we're able to do this and we appreciate it very much you counted them as well <laughs> so all the god gang i hope you have a fantastic night fantastic morning day and uh i'll see you guys in 22 hours uh for sure and possibly in about 12 hours so sad <laughs> Like Roger, so sexist. <laughs> so, so fun. And I'll see you guys in about 12 hours, uh, possibly for an unscheduled comic book haul video. Bye, everyone.